OMG Cranberry is number one here again. And today I'm looking at the 1 to 144 scale Zabania Gundam from the movie Awakening the Trailblazer. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. And to start it off, I'm going to look at articulation. And we'll go full 360 with the arm. Rotates at the shoulder. Wrist is on a single ball joint. You go back and forth. It'll wiggle around a little bit and you can kind of push it down in there. Now the wrist in the arm itself is articulated so you can get it like that. And when you do that with the arm you'll get oh, mm, about a 180 close to it. But the arm itself just gives you a little over 90. Now look at the head and we'll go full 360. But mine's a little tight and I don't want to risk breaking a V-fin or this clear piece up here which is supposed to be blue but I took the sticker off because I'm going to be painting it now for waist articulation the up, this upper white piece is on a separate ball joint from the bottom white piece so you get really nice articulation from the waist you also rotate full 360 without the ass pack huh? which is what I call it and we'll get to that in a second but side skirts will come all the way up which is nice back skirt does not move typical the front skirts are originally one piece but I don't know if this was intentional or accidental but they made it to where you could pretty much go in and cut the middle part between it because I'm going to take the other one off because it was pretty, it was pretty much like that, and I they're pretty much two just separate ball joints, and I just cut it apart, and I got a movable, individually movable front skirts. Now, one thing that surprised me about this is the front skirts have their own inner frame. Look at that. You can see it kind of shine in the light there, which is nice. I mean, you don't see many 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 kits that have the front skirt inner frame especially the 144's I mean master grades do but yeah you know what I mean now if you move the front skirt out of the way you can get the leg up that high in front and that's him standing straight up move the side skirt out of the way and you can get him to do a full split now you will get a 180 out of the knee which you can with most of the double O kits. Uh, we'll rotate at the hip. Uh, the hip is, you know, your average double O, so it's just a peg shoved up in there. See? Get him back down on there. So you get a little, you got, and you get, you have a really good range of motion with this kit. Now, I'm going to do a flat foot test, which I got that idea from Robert 184. He just then lost it. So he's got a good... You can almost do the splits with this guy. Whoop. That'll be in the blooper reel at the end of the year. Now, now ankle armor will go up and down. It's just on the front of the leg, so you can just pop it off like so. And that's what it looks like underneath. Ankle will move from side to side like so. Forwards and back. And you can get it to go down and come up. And that's the articulation. Now for stickers, they gave you one on top of the jewel. Which I'll come back in frame here. One on top of the jewel, one on the V-fin, one on each shoulder, one on the back of the forearm. I don't remember if there was one for the inner thigh, but I didn't use it, and I just went in and took a, uh, a, sh a one of my uh, shit, I don't know, Sharpie pen. I can't get Gundam markers, so I use Sharpie pens and other really extremely fine point pens that are markers. Yeah, and you also get two stickers on each side of the chest. The white ones there. Uh, not a whole lot of panel lining needed for this kit, but I went ahead and did it on the ankles, the ankle armor, inside of the thigh, the hands, 
the back of the arms just because I did I hated the sticker it came with and the face and on the top of the head which you can barely see down in there which all I had to do was just take off the white part and just mark on it and on the side of the arm here now you're probably wondering why it doesn't go all the way up but just because the it's actually a really deep channel here and then it just all of a sudden goes into this really skinny hard to get at channel so I didn't I mean that looks alright so no complaints from me also I did a little panel lining on the back of the ankles now get to the weapons and accessories it comes with two GN pistol bits which you can put on this front piece to make the GN rifle bit too you have two of them now to store these what you do take that push that down and pull this off and you simply just slide it and down it in the shield bit like so but I never use it like that because it's hard to get it out I'll get it out later because it's going to be a pain in. Now the shield bits I am disappointed in because only this front one and, and then the it's the front two that come off and then they're separated in twos. These two and these two do not come apart but they do come apart right here. I hope you can make sense of that. Now, just get that on there which this is also I guess the jetpack you just attach it into his ass and that's why I call it the ass pack. And that is the Keratin, or not the Keratin, I'm sorry, the Zabanya Gundam. Loaded up, ready to, go, ready to go. Now, I'm just going to take it off here just to look at a few gimmicks real quick. It does have a couple gimmicks, like in the knees, the knee armor will come off and you can just put it like that. And there are these three little things, which on the package it shows painted as yellow because they're missile pods same thing goes for the chest on each side you can open these up and you can even see the front of the GN drive down in there with its blackish green sticker which I'm never really fond of I'll probably go in and paint that with some clear coat green now this little thing pops off it'll come off there we go I don't know what it's for but I saw a picture of it without it on it and I just thought I'd bring that up and under each shoulder there is these little cameras, which I assume are cameras, I don't know if they're weapons or what, but a uh, quick little spin around of him. Uh, all in all, I like this kid. I like the articulation. I there aren't really bad nubs, too many bad nubs on this kit. One right there, I haven't cleaned up on the side of the skirt armor, but. All in all, I'm going to give this kit, I'll give him an 8 out of 10. And that's being mean. But, I hope you enjoyed this review, everyone. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me if you liked it, and hit like if you did. Hit don't if you didn't. Delete always, leave comments, I love reading them. You know, send me messages, request to views, and all that good stuff. Spread the good word about me. See ya.